it's Megan. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite sunscreens for the summertime. And I am surprised I've never done a video like this before because I pretty much stick with the same sunscreens for years. I've been using these specific sunscreens for many years and I just love them. So I wanted to share my favorites with you guys because summer is quickly approaching. Thank God. I cannot wait for summer. Wish that I was still a student and had summer vacation because I'm inside pretty much all summer anyhow. But these sunscreens are my tried and true favorites. I love them so much and I highly, highly recommend them. So I don't have too many because these are just like the best of the best to me, but I'll start with the face ones. So I have been using the Josie Marin Daily Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47 for, I would say this will be my fourth year using this sunscreen in the spring and summer. So this is just like a small deluxe size. I also have the Protect and Perfect, which is a tinted moisturizer version of the same sunscreen. So this is the full size and this is like a little travel size. But what's awesome every summer that I look forward to is the Sephora Sun Safety Kit. They have come out with it. I'm not sure for how long, but I think I've been getting it for about four or five years every year that I could get it because it sells out super, super fast. But I have had luck finding it in store at my Sephora or the Sephora inside of a JCPenney. Those usually have it more like available for a longer time than online, but I highly recommend getting that sun safety kit. Me and my mom get it every year that we can get our hands on it. And it comes with a bunch of these little travel deluxe sizes of amazing, amazing sunscreen products. So that is how I originally tried out this sunscreen and I love it. It smells like blueberries. I love that so much. And it's a thinner consistency of a sunscreen, but still very moisturizing. And I have normal to slightly oily skin, especially in the summer. And this doesn't make me overly oily. It really does like dry down. Um, but it is moisturizing. So this is pretty much the moisturizer I use every day in the spring and summer, especially when I'm going to be outside all day. I love that it is SPF 47. That's a very high sunscreen rating for a moisturizer, a face moisturizer. Usually they're like 15 or 20, maybe 30, but 47 is fantastic. I Love this. Highly, highly recommend it. It doesn't look white on your skin. It might look a little shiny, but I just absolutely love this. And the tinted moisturizer one is really good too. It's a more tan color than I am, as you can tell, but in the summer it just shears out and gives me a little bit of a tan to my skin that is very artificial, but it's not artif artificial looking. It just is very nice and sheer on my skin and gives me that little bit of tan color that makes me look alive and doesn't make me look like a ghost like I am 365 days out of the year. So I really do like this. I might not repurchase the Tintin Moisturizer version. I accidentally got this one to be honest, but I do really, really love these and highly, highly recommend them. For lips, my two favorite lip balms also happen to have sunscreen. So my favorite lip balms are the Jack Black um, lip balm and the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments. So the Jack Black has SPF 25 and it comes in a squeezy tube like you would imagine a squeezy tube to look like. I love the Natural Mint and Shea Butter. It's what I've been getting ever since I first got this lip balm a few years ago. Love, love, love this lip balm. It's a thicker consistency, like a Vaseline, and it really stays on your lips for a long period of time. So it's great for moisturizing in that way, but if you're using it for sunscreen, that is really important too for it to stay on your lips for a long time. You don't want to apply a chapstick with SPF, but have it like slip off because it's not a substantial lip balm. 
then you're not really getting the SPF that you need. But this stays on your lips. I love it. Never have had a problem with my lips burning. I keep this in my pocket pretty much all summer long when I'm gonna be out and about, and I always have one in my purse as well. And then the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments, these are very, very fancy. This has SPF 15, so um, the Jack Black has 10 SPFs more than this one does, but this is really fancy. Like I said, usually this comes in the Sun Safety Kit as well, so if you wanna try it out for like not as expensive because I think the full sizes of these are like $30 or something insane. Um, but these smell like lemon, which I hated at first, but I grew to absolutely love it. And again, this is more of a substantial lip balm, so it stays with you, super moisturizing, really good for SPF, but I would recommend the Jack Black one over the Fresh Sugar because I can't keep the fresh ones in my pocket. They melt very easily, the packaging is metal, and the lip balm itself is very soft. So when I keep it in my pocket and I go to apply it the heat from my body makes it so soft and then it just like goes like blah and it's all over my face so I prefer the Jack Black to keep with me at all times but I do really really recommend the fresh ones as well okay and then my two favorite body sunscreens I have one lotion and one spray my favorite lotion is the Hawaiian Tropic silk hydration SPF 30 so I love this better than any other sunscreen because it's also a moisturizer lotion and it smells like coconuts so it comes you can kind of tell up here it's like swirled with a white and then kind of a tan color and it really is a beautiful sunscreen. It doesn't feel like sunscreen. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It seems more like a lotion than anything. And I do wish that it had a higher SPF than just 30, but typically what I do is I apply a lotion sunscreen first, like at the very beginning of my day, and then I'll reapply with a spray. And my favorite spray to use is the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Spray SPF 50 Plus. And I love this packaging. It's part of the reason I love this sunscreen, but you can use this on your face, body, or hair. So a lot of times I will forget about my scalp, and if you have like a part in your hair, which most people do, or if you're bald, you're a guy and you're bald, you cannot forget about your head. So this is awesome because you can spray it on your roots and it doesn't make your hair really oily. Of course, if you apply too much, it will, but just a really quick spray and it will keep you set all day. But this, like I said, I love to use for reapplying, but I typically just layer these at the beginning of my day so then I don't have to worry about this only being 30. Since this is SPF 50, I love it. I pretty much go through one bottle of this a year and you should buy new sunscreen every year. I should have said that at the beginning of this video, but just to keep it fresh and to make sure the SPF hasn't gotten bad, I really recommend buying new sunscreen every year. Pretty much I use up my sunscreen each year and then just buy new ones. These are left over from last year. I didn't quite finish them up, but I'll use them up at the beginning of this summer and then buy new ones. But I really love this because it is that high SPF. It's just a spray, it's not an aerosol, which I don't have a problem with aerosol containers, but I find this one to be really, really nice. I have purchased this for a few years and I just highly recommend this. So these are definitely my favorite body sunscreens, but if I'm in a pinch, I'll use whatever sunscreen there is because I burn so easily. I am always like super paranoid about getting burnt and protecting my skin and no matter what skin tone you are if you're really fair like me if you're tan or really really deep you should always wear sunscreen even if you're not seeing that you're getting burnt your skin can get really damaged by the sun so i highly recommend using sunscreen find one that you really like that makes it enjoyable like I love applying this Hawaiian Tropics one because it smells amazing, feels amazing, and it doesn't seem like, oh, I have to put on my sunscreen. So find one that you really love and you'll be way more 
prone to using it every day and every time that you are going to be out in the sun all day. But those are my favorite sunscreens. I am really interested in a new um, Kate Somerville body sunscreen. It's like a body glow. So it adds a little bit of color to your skin, which is really intriguing to me. So if any of you guys have tried that, please let me know how you like it. And please let me know your favorite sunscreens, your lip products, face products, and body products. I am just really into sunscreen right now for some reason, but I hope you guys got something out of this video. Please remember to wear sunscreen every day in the summer, especially if you're going to be out at the beach or doing something super, super fun. Just don't forget about your skin and protecting it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.